Hey team, welcome back to my channel. This is the final episode and answer key for Name That Game featuring Unpacking. So all season I've been playing levels of Unpacking while reading out reviews for games. You've watched, you've liked, you've left your guesses in the comments and today I am going to reveal which games I was reading those reviews for. So here we go, the answers. Thumbs down, good game, ruined by corporate greed and bad decision making. Let's do another review. This one is a thumbs down. The only reason it exists on Steam is so you can give it a bad review. Things I gave redacted. Time, money, commitment and love. Things it gave me. Mental insanity, disappointed parent energy. <laughs> Unhealthy amount of rage and toxicity unhealthy amount of redacted addiction and pain another review a thumbs down surprisingly literally respect to the not safe for work artists that kept the game alive to this day Dear Redacted Devs, this is a very simple concept that is pulled off well. Thanks for a great start. Now I'm just some dude, but it is my belief that if you added a public user rated level editor, you would never have to work another day in your life. <laughs> Best of luck. This was a waste of time. 10 out of 10 would waste my time again. I work as a Redacted for a living. Why did I buy this? Good game, this. Approved. Redacted is so hot, I want him so bad. Thanks, devs. This remake of one of the best horror games of all time is absolutely astounding. 10 out of 10. Who the f said, shoot the lake water for a secret costume? Thank you so f much. It is a thumbs up and it says, thanks, Mark. I'm at a really low point in my life right now. I beat the game in 3.7 hours, but finished in two minutes. Mm, I don't want to talk about that one. For the Horde. Even though it's a very old game, I still find it very addicting and smooth. This is probably one of the best sandbox games I've ever played. The next review is a thumbs up. If you spent hours in your childhood playing... I'm not sure if I should say this because it might totally give it away. I'm not going to. If you spent hours in your childhood playing Redacted, 
this game will eat your entire life. So much fun, so much room for creativity. You can terrorize innocent civilians with talking hamburgers. I love this game. The city's skylines of theme park games. Simultaneously the best and most disappointing game you've ever played. They fixed an issue where players enjoy the game. This game may be free to play, but you'll sink hundreds of dollars for DLC. I hate Redacted. It's my favorite game. I was hesitant to buy this game for my son, thinking that he would get bored with it and would end up in a growing pile of games in our entertainment system. He played Redacted on my phone for a while, but so many games bore him after he beats the game. This one has turned out to be different. This game seems kind of pointless at first, but after evaluating my love-hate relationship with Redacted, I can say this is probably one of the best games my son has picked out. I like that they use their imagination to construct various things and even take care of animals. Redacted really is what you make of it. The first time I played, I became frustrated and gave up within the first 20 minutes, but my son kept chugging along and eventually we started to figure things out. After that, it became very addictive. Appropriately dubbed a sandbox game, gameplay is only limited by player's imagination. Easy enough for kids, but plenty deep for adults. It's a welcome change from all the pseudo-military first-person shooter games that have dominated the marketplace for so long. You can feel the atmosphere of this game. There is no HUD, just a redacted and buddy redacted. <laughs> you can speed through this game and knock it out in two hours, but that would be on par with watching a wonderful movie that is on fast forward just for the sake of finishing it sooner. It's always the orange ones. At its heart, Redacted is a delightful exploratory adventure with some escape and chase scenes that may be a deal breaker for some. A masterpiece that merges feline mayhem with a classic cyberpunk setting. Playing this game after 16 years, need I say more? Multiplayer friendly, fantastic gameplay, always someone playing, and a ton of customization. Too good of a game to pass up. Best Steam game by far. You shoot gun, you die. You shoot gun again, you kill enemy, you die again. And the cycle repeats. <coughs> Medic! One of the best, if not the best, action RPG game ever made. Super buggy, prone to random crashes and errors on startup. Loved this game back in the day, ran great when I had it on disc. From the bottom of my heart to Redacted. F you and your launcher. I can't play a 13 year old game because of your sh launcher.
I'm Commander Redacted, and this is my favorite game on Steam. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this series. I do plan on making another one sometime soon, hopefully. <laughs> if you enjoyed the series, please let me know in the comments. Also, I would love to know how many did you get right? What was your score out of 10? And I'll see you next time. Bye.